Today I'm going to talk a little bit about our EM38 in-season soil moisture research project. Um, so the point of this project is to map fields in season with a EM38 here, which is a low contact, low disturbance soil conductivity sensor. Uh, one of the strengths of the EM38 is it gives us a really good idea um, what the soil moisture and soil texture of a field is. So we've had some experience with this technology and what we wanted to do is we wanted to come into a field like this at time of seeding, in season, and look at if we could come up with a good map, a better understanding of soil moisture um, throughout the field and use that to make management decisions. So we could use that to determine whether or not we need to irrigate based on what the soil moisture is and where it is in the field or perhaps um, how to top dress our fertilizer. So maybe we can reduce fertilizer needs with it. So today we're, st we're working on step one and that's getting a baseline map for this field. So we mapped it once about two weeks ago and we're going to come back in and map it today. Uh, we've had about just about three inches of rain in the last week so it's kind of going to be interesting to see if we you know how much those patterns change and if we do see um, if we do if we can account for some of those moisture changes. So this here, this is an EM38 uh, MK2. So it's a, a dual dipole machine. So it takes two different EC measurements. One goes up to a meter and a half under the ground, and then it has a smaller a half dipole here. So the full dipole is the full length, and then the half that goes about three quarters of a meter down uh, and comes up with a measurement. So it creates an electromagnetic field, measures variability in that field, and, and converts that to soil um, electroconductivity. So what we do is, because it's a non-contact sensor, we can place it here. It's a non-contact sensor, so we can place it in a sled here. Um, so we've got it set up. It's all calibrated and ready to go. Uh, we, we plug it in and hook it up to the quad and we pull it through the field. And the reason we have it in the sled is there's no metal anywhere around it. Every couple times a second, we record a piece of information that includes latitude, longitude, and some soil conductivity parameters. And yeah, it's pretty slick. So, so you can see how this is something that, depending on the crop, you could, you could go in a month, maybe six weeks after seeding, and get a good soil moisture map.